Rustling up ideas, a guide to understanding this unique phrase. Hello, everyone. Today, we're diving into a fascinating English expression, rustle up an idea. This phrase is not only colorful but also a great example of how English can be playful and imaginative. Let's explore what it means, where it comes from, and how you can use it in everyday conversation. Rustle up an idea is an idiomatic expression in English. At its core, this phrase combines the verb rustle, which often means to make a soft, fluttering sound, like leaves moving in the wind, with the process of creating an idea. When put together, this expression conveys the act of quickly or suddenly coming up with an idea, often in an improvisational or resourceful manner. It's akin to conjuring something seemingly out of thin air, much like a chef might rustle up a meal with whatever ingredients are on hand. The origins of rustle up lie in a more literal sense. Originally, it referred to the sound of movement, particularly through dry leaves or similar. Over time, it took on a more figurative meaning, indicating the act of quickly gathering or assembling something, usually food or a meal. Applying this to ideas, the phrase suggests a swift, creative process of idea generation, often under time constraints or with limited resources. It's commonly used in informal settings and can add a playful, dynamic element to your speech. Let's see how this phrase works in different sentences. 1. We need a new marketing strategy by tomorrow. Can you rustle up an idea? 2. The team was under pressure, but they managed to rustle up some innovative solutions. 3. I was asked to give an impromptu speech, so I had to rustle up some thoughts on the spot. These examples show the phrase being used in various scenarios, illustrating its versatility and the spontaneity it implies. I hope this video has helped you understand and appreciate the phrase, rustle up an idea. It's a great tool to have in your linguistic arsenal, especially when you want to describe quick, creative thinking. Keep practicing, and don't be afraid to rustle up some phrases of your own. Until next time, happy learning!